Okay, so me, JT, and the rest of the family, we are here today in Albufora at the beach. It's the first time that we've been here today. We've just come to have a little look around, just a quick look around today. I have actually brought my gimbal with me. I left it in the hotel room, but as I say, I am going to come back here with JT and show you in a little bit more detail around this particular area. I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you what we can see here today on our short visit. And by the way, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that little bell for future notification. Remember, it doesn't cost you anything to do so and it means an awful lot to me, JT and the rest of the family. Enjoy, come on. Okay, so I'm on the beach now. I'm gonna go for a little walk around. As I say, I do apologize. I haven't brought my gimbal with me. I've got a relatively steady hand anyway. And when we come again, we'll bring the gimbal with me and I'll take you for another walk around. The temperature, by the way, here in Albufora is, well, yesterday it was in the 40s, according to one of the members of staff in the hotel where we're staying. On the actual online, it was saying that it was running about between 34, 37 degrees. It looks like we're set for another one here. I think the last time I experienced such intense heat was probably in Australia. And the, again, the climate's changing, isn't it? But uh, yeah, we're set for a very warm day. I'm going to take a drink in a second as I turn the camera around. As I'm talking, as I'm walking around, I'm constantly drying up and needing to obviously hydrate and keep hydrated throughout the actual day, as I say extremely warm i'm not whinging by any means again the weather back in the uk has been absolutely miserable so this is pleasurable for me even though it is very intense i am used to it so i'm not complaining but yeah plenty of eye factor on and uh yeah enjoy the experience as they say but i'll turn the camera in and just show you where i am now on the beach here in albufera Okay, so I'm guessing if you've been here to Albafura before, you've probably been through these steps. Again, if you have, drop me a message down below. Looks like there's a bit of a restaurant on top of you. Nice view of the beach. People having their holiday snaps. Everybody having the, the lunch? Beautiful, eh? Really, really nice. Restaurant here, Stolando du Tunnel. Then you've got the gelatria, which is the ice cream shop. That leads you down to a, a restaurant here. Sunset Beach Club it's called. Okay, go underneath this little cove here. Cut through into the rocks, get this. Yeah, look how busy this is, Tasker here. At the back of me, you've got everybody in here having the meals. You've got the seafood going on. I love the seafood here. The vegetables, the fruit. Honestly, it's as fresh as it comes. It's probably the, the most tastiest fruit and vegetables that again I've ever had and I've been all over the world as you know so again it's special really take uh, a lot of due diligence and care in relation to obviously putting the food together high quality chefs so again what's your experience if you've been here before been into the restaurants if you have drop me a message down below and let me know where would you recommend whilst I'm here on my stay we'll turn the camera around anyway it's enough of looking at me Show you these streets and everybody what's here in Albufeira in Portugal. Nice cream. Oh, I could just eat ice cream now, I'm going to be honest with you. 
and again lots of souvenir shops lots of places where you can purchase you know some thrown clothes dresses shorts etc when you're here i've not checked out the prices but from what i have seen jt buying the odd bit bits and bobs his cousins and the girls everything seems to be reasonably priced there's no massive kind of try and take advantage of you whilst you're on your holiday don't get me wrong there's been a few things that i've raised my eyebrows at where the price has been concerned but in general everything seems to be well priced and it's not again as busy as what i thought it would be here it's busy enough but again it's I don't want to say it's relatively quiet because it's not the footfall is obviously quite vis visible you can see it as we're walking uh, we're walking around here but yeah i suppose it is quite a big but there's not a massive amount of people here you've got to think really how many people are here on all inclusive and staying in and making use of the all-inclusive facilities just looking at the top side here looks like they're renovating some flats here prime location they don't look like they're well suited here i'm going to be honest with you look at them my word hopefully they'll get them sorted out pretty quickly because they look a bit of an eye so sure you'll agree looking up this size three to you now there's not a lot going on so i'll probably come back to you in a second when i find somewhere a little bit more visibly exciting than this particular size three here yeah i think i'll do a u-turn and have a little look down on the other side stay with me we'll cut back in, in a second okay i'm going to go down these steps again i've not got a clue where i'm going i'm just kind of following the footfall hopefully it'll take me somewhere i don't know if it's just this is just into a restaurant actually if it is again swift detour back up to where we've just been looks like there's actually yeah more restaurants here we are Zancy, grilled prawns, pastas, pizzas, everything here. Very nice, really nice. Oh, bit of shade. Oh my word, this is lovely. Look at this. As I say, look at this. A shaded area just off the, the beach front, hidden away. Really nice square area. Again, lots of restaurants. People obviously enjoying their dinners. Having an ice cold drink of choice, whatever that may be. But yeah, look at the uh, coverage here. Just to again give you a break from the intense heat that they're experiencing here in Portugal. As I said, they're experiencing around about late 30s, early 40s, from what they were saying yesterday. And it was forecast around about 32 to 35 yesterday, and we hit early 40s according to one of the locals. And today, it's predicted to be exactly the same, and it is, it is exactly the same as yesterday. today, extremely intense. So if you're here, or you're coming here at this particular time of the year, make sure that you're taking plenty of fluids, I'm educating you now, plenty of fluids, get the food that you need, the nourishment, and obviously take shelter under somewhere like this, which is really what you need. I mean, this gentleman here, I'm not gonna turn the camera on him, he's reading a book. Very pleasant, really, really nice. Again, there's some apartments at the back of me here. You probably just see them. They don't look like they belong here. They're obviously in the process of being modernized and renovated. I'm sure they'll look lovely in due course on this particular part of Albufeira in Portugal. Yeah, really nice, really impressive. We'll turn the camera in, that's enough. I'm looking at me for this, for the time being. I'll turn it around for now anyway, and just have a look what's in front of me. I'm sweating as I'm walking around. Again, it's really, really hot. I'm just looking here now, they've got the fans pumping out, obviously, the water, just to keep you cool. Elvis there, singing. Fight, restaurant, the Irish music going on, talk over it for obvious reasons. Sand sculptures, sorry. There we go. more to like obviously usually on the beach but there it is side streets but anyway this does look familiar to me and i will be back here again may come back for amelia actually very very nice it's quite obviously midday-ish lost track of time actually um so people are probably all back in their hotels as i keep saying enjoying their day on the beach doing whatever they want to do 
But again, lots of shops here, lots of restaurants for you to come and try. Literally everything. Uh, vertical live music, central station, Abafura, old town signs everywhere, restaurant. Buddy Steakhouse there at the back of me. What's this called? Have a little... Downtown? Downtown, got the worst sign in the world, you can't even make it out. Not really sure where they're coming from with that. You can, you can see it downtown, but it's not very clear. Um, but yeah, downtown, who's been there? If you have, drop me a message down below, tell me what was your experience there. You enjoy it? What would you recommend for me to go and try? Again, we're here with the family, or I am here with the extended family, all inclusive in the restaurants, within our hotel, top class, a la carte in there, and the actual um, all inclusive experience is the best that I've ever experienced. It's obviously five star, so the quality of food in there is exceptional. But I always say, listen, put money back into the economy, no matter where you are. You must make sure that you support local restaurants, businesses, etc. Really, really important that you do that. Otherwise, they go under. You've seen that in Tenerife. I'm watching vlogs now. Again, I know there's quite a lot of you who subscribe because of the Tenerife experience. But if you look at Tenerife, you've got people like entertainers, singers, etc. in the bars over there who are boot up to obviously regular do performances in certain restaurants wine bars bars etc throughout the season and they're being cancelled because people are not actually going within the actual establishment you need to make sure that you support the local restaurants and the bars otherwise people go to business it's really really important i know i keep reinforcing that necessity but for me it's of a paramount importance for you to continue to support the local businesses. Yes, it's great to potentially go to somewhere. Well, it's not great. It is obviously very good for you to go to an all-inclusive experience if you find somewhere where you enjoy and it allows you to have an holiday that you can kind of fit within your financial kind of abilities. But again, if you've got it within your means to get out and again, support these local businesses, and do so. I'm going to turn the camera back around again and continue with the walk, okay? Even though I'm familiar with this place, I'm lost, so I'm not so sure where I am now. It's a Mora Barros Pinta. Not got a clue who he is. Obviously, a very important gentleman. Got me a message in below. Who is he? Dreams Cafe. Pastoria. Donna Kebab. You see that will come in handy after a, a few drinks at night. We need to the night comes bars, etc. I'm gonna make my way back down to the beach now and finish the walk off here. I thought you've enjoyed it. Hopefully we'll be back. We'll be back. Again, stuttering my words because my mouth is absolutely chalk. Really, really dry. Um, again, late 30s, early 40s today, so it's extremely warm. If you are coming now on your way across, make sure you're taking plenty of fluid. Very, very important that you do so. Domino's Club. This is obviously like the nightlife part of where I've been walking. Lots of bars here now. Nightclubs Bank. Camera light <coughs> and trim, is it? Another level of party. Bank, as I say, Domino's Club. Okay, I'll turn the camera around. Downtown again. Obviously, we come around that way. Classic bar. Yeah, this is the uh, nightlife bar kind of vibe. I'm sure it's nice here in the evening, actually. Nice walk around anyway during the day, like this. Again, little spider hiding away in the corner. Lucky 13's Tattoo Club, if you're looking for a tattoo while you're here. How many of you have had a dodgy tattoo whilst you've been abroad? How many of you have had a tattoo that you've enjoyed? Reflecting back upon your time here, perhaps as a youngster, as you've got older. Some people have tattoos that they love, don't they, abroad? Some are absolutely horrendous, they're absolutely horrendous, are they? Portugal top here. Quite a lot is Portugal top, do I say it? €29.99, not bad value that. Cool. I don't know if they're official or not. It looks like an official shop, so potentially. Or your Portuguese stuff here if you're looking for football merchandise. Nice looking stuff. Most of it's got Ronaldo, as you would imagine. Obviously, 
plastered at the back of it. Fabulous Vegas cocktails. Here we go. Live music DJ. Barbers. Barbers Bar. Serpajira. Cantunas. I'll be fair. etc. Music playing now, so I'm going to talk over it for obvious reasons. Yep, so it, as I say, I mean, when you're walking around it, it's very clearly quite lively place, or I would imagine a quite lively place in the evening. So what, let's go back up this bit here. I'm saying go back up, I don't think I've been back up. Oh, I'll tell you what, them fans with the actual, you know, the mist in the water, my word. When they hit you. Really, really cool. Once again, by the way, if you've been here before, drop me a message down below. Where do you recommend going? Where, the, where is there a one euro pint? <laughs> is there a one euro pint that is akin, the same as, or just as good as Tenerife? I'm sure there is. Potentially not. Look at the bars here are busy, the old barrel, typical restaurant, terrace bar, it's obviously typical Portuguese restaurant, terrace bar, very, very busy, lots of people in there, you've got like, uh, what looks like a tequila bar there, obviously there's like Mexican food, I think, entertainment, gentleman setting up with his guitar, live music, captain whoever, call him Pedro, saying that old tour guide of ours, or mine, on my visits to, to Lisbon, Portugal, called Pedro, so a typical Portuguese name. But just look at this. L, can't even read that. Some of the signs you can't read. Some of the wording is missing here. So it's just take us anyway. Um, L Ancho, with a wording, could be just a space, but I'm guessing there's a word come off there. So make of that as you wish. Steakhouse, Splash Port Bar, Fresh Cafe, so it's a little coffee shop. Selling obviously snacks, etc. Really impressed. And back to the start tour, I've actually managed to make my way back to where I started initially, which is cool. For me, back to where Mrs. G is. Back to where everybody is, the family. Mrs. G and the children are over here somewhere on the beach. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that little walk around Albufeira Old Town here in Portugal, as I have. And by the way, as my lips are drying, and my mouth's drying out again, really, really hot and parched. My mouth's like chalk, I'm going to go and get a drink. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that little bell for future notification. And remember, it doesn't cost you anything to do so, and it means an awful lot to me, JT, and the rest of the family. Until the next time, my friends, take care for now. Do it now. Don't miss out. Thank you very much. <laughs>